palm tree. What is this? Oh my god. Hi everybody, welcome to Friday's video. So for those of you who didn't see last Friday's video, I pretty much made an announcement of what these Friday videos are going to be moving forward. So just a rough little breakdown or recap. Monday, I'm trying to post five days a week. So Monday through Thursdays, I wanted to be makeup beauty related, you know, all that good stuff. Makeup hauls, makeup tutorials, DIYs, first impressions. Did I say hauls? If not, hauls, um, favorites, all that good stuff. So because when I'm filming makeup videos for you guys, I'm so focused on teacher mode that I don't feel like you guys get to know me as a person so I figured why not have Fridays as just more of an unwinding day talking to you guys you know just about random things maybe beauty related maybe not beauty related just there's no you know there's no rules just pretty much just talking to you guys so you get to know me as a person and you know if you guys have any questions that's what the comment are well the comment sections for ask away I will respond to you guys if you want me to answer any questions in previous in well future videos I can do that as well or if you just want me to comment below and just respond to you guys in the description no not the description in the comment section let me know also so just you know put a disclaimer like hey can you ask I had this question can you ask answer it <laughs> Oh, it's been a long day. I can't even think and talk and I feel like I'm rambling. But yes, if you want me to answer those questions in next week's video, just, you know, let me know that's where you want me to answer it. But I will still acknowledge you. Um, So this is pretty much really new for me. So please bear with me for a little bit. But I really just want to talk to you guys about just, you know, other things that are going on in my life, not just like I said, makeup related. So what can I, I'm trying to think how to start this. Um, oh, okay. So I knew what I wanted to start talking about. So for those of you who don't know me outside of YouTube, me and my boyfriend are very much involved in the car scene. We live in Florida. We are constantly vending at car shows, car meets. He also drifts. So we go to tons of of drift events as well and 99.9% .9 of the time I don't wear any makeup it is way too hot in Florida for makeup when the weather starts cooling down I I leave the house with makeup because it'll stay on a lot longer it's just not worth it for me to sit here and put my makeup on for an hour just to leave the house and have it sweat off and I mean my makeup lasts so it's just the heat is so ridiculous here and it's and then it's constantly raining also so it's like you're battling between the heat and then the rain and rain is not just drizzles it is literally hurricane season and it's just it's it's not fun and yeah it's just not it's just not worth me just sweating off my makeup so this past weekend we were at an event called clean culture they had two events going on in daytona saturday was clean culture sunday was slammed enough we only attended clean culture was which was on saturday and it was at such a cool venue it was at the daytona international speedway and they were doing nascar drives also for an additional cost or you know all that so we ended up getting there really early setting up and it was a really long day the event was from two to eight and it was so hot and it rained a bit and then got even hotter and it was just yeah I don't know but I it was really really hot so I was I was gonna say that every time it's super hot I get little tiny bumps all over my face it literally drives me crazy I do not know what to do to stop it I don't I just don't know so I wanted to know if any of you guys have had the same issue because it's not just a one-time thing. This didn't just happen on Saturday alone. Every time we are in outdoor events and it's super hot, I'm always getting little breakouts all over. It goes away after a couple of days because, but I think it goes away because I freak out when I come home and I slap on a face mask, 
put a bunch of products on while going to bed and then I wake up again and I repeat the process and try not to leave the house just to make sure that my skin is taken care of. So I don't know if you guys have that same issue or if you have any solutions, but if you have any, you know, little tips and you know, you struggle with that as well and you found ways of avoiding that, I really, really appreciate it. So another thing that I've noticed is I absolutely love rose water. It's so good for your skin. Usually I go to the Indian supermarkets and I get their big thing of rose water and it's only about three or four dollars just you know just depending on the size you get or brands but for the most part I pretty much just grab whatever is available and I usually use that as a little toner on my face. I do really like the Mario Badescu and I'm running low on that so I should probably go pick one up but I did recently pick up the Trader Joe's face I'm sorry, the Trader Joe's Rose Water, and that was about $4, so it was really affordable, and it was working really well on my skin, but I noticed the last couple of times, I I like to put it in our cooler, and I like to spray my face, and then just kind of spray my body, just to cool off. It just feels really good when it's chilled, and I noticed that I was just getting really, really itchy. My camera overheated. It does that a lot, and it's probably gonna happen again, but it kind of just ru it just kind of ruined the flow of things that I was talking about. So yeah, back to the Trader Joe's rose water. I'm not really sure if I've just grown an allergic reaction to that. I'm gonna try out my Marbadesco rose water since I like that as well, and I'm gonna try that out when we are, you know, the next outdoor event to see if I'm having the same issue. And if I am, then I will give it a shot with the other rose water that I get from the Indian grocery stores and see how that works and maybe it's me and rose water but the Mario Badescu hasn't given me any issues with my face whatsoever so I'm not sure if maybe I'm just itchy from the sun or what but yeah I don't know but there was another thing that I was going to talk to you about. oh so the past couple of days I you know I love, I've only recently been shopping at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and I've been loving finding discounted makeup. It's just, it's my new thing. I, once I know that I can get something at a reasonable rate, I don't really want to pay full price anymore. So the past couple of days we went to about six Trader Joe's, not Trader Joe's, why am I saying Trader Joe's? This the past two days I went to about six stores it was tj maxx marshall's pretty much whatever was around our area and usually anytime we're in an area and we have time i always like to just pop in and just browse around and see what's new and the reason i decided to do that is i saw that people were posting that there were a bunch of new products that you know tj maxx was having and marshall's was carrying you know like all of the new anastasia highlighting palettes things that I was wanting but I just never got around to buying it and I am so disappointed in people it's it's just so shocking I went to all six different stores and there wasn't anything that wasn't swatched the product wasn't dug out I mean why are we sticking our fingers in absolutely every product? If one product everyone is swatching and touching and you want to swatch it, obviously nobody's going to buy that one because tons of product is missing. Swatch that one and then leave the other ones alone and just buy it if you want it. But there's no need for you to touch every single product, swatch every single lipstick, and just destroy things. Like, why can't we have nice things? It It's so disappointing. And I was just, I was so disappointed. I mean, I just couldn't tell you. I really just wanted to, you know, look for lipsticks and look for palettes and... <sighs> no, I was not okay with that. But also I did notice that Anastasia was having new lipstick shades that were floating around and they were at every single location. I think it was three shades I, ke I kept coming across. One was Poet, Poet, um, Dusty Rose and Maud, 
I believe. And I really wanted to grab Dusty Rose and Poet, but I didn't trust it. I mean, everyone was touching everything, that there was nothing that didn't look swatched. And I'm not okay with buying lipsticks that I'm not sure about. I don't, I don't trust it. So if it's something that I'm not really sure about and I'm really skeptical, I'm just not going to get it. But I was just really disappointed because the colors looked absolutely beautiful and I just ended up leaving without it and $7.99. I mean, I think her liquid lipsticks are, it's at least $20. It's like $21 or $24, something like that. So it was just really disappointing and please, please stop touching everything. If one is touched and one is swatched, fine, stick your hands in that. Nobody's going to buy it, like I said, but don't, don't destroy everything. I mean, it's not cool. It's not nice. But what else was I going to say? Oh, so I actually just came back from the mall. I wasn't really planning on buying anything too crazy. And I did end up running in some Morphe because I wanted to pick up a couple of things. It's nothing too exciting. Every time you see a cut, my camera overheated and like I said it does it a lot so I just came back from the mall I went to Morphe and I wanted to just pick up a couple of products it's not it's not really a haul I only picked up three things but and it's not really too exciting but one product I'm really excited about so I'm just gonna do a really quick show and tell for you guys so i got this palette right here this is a 39s such a gem artistry palette i saw when they launched this palette and i knew i wanted to get it it's it would just spoke to me it it's just it's so beautiful i just cannot put this into words so i am obsessed with purple eyeshadows and cranberries and reds and oranges and like burnt oranges things like that I am a huge fan of and this palette is literally just a purple dream I mean everything about it there are so much different shimmers and there's an, there's a good amount of mattes as well I do like that it's a very good selection and pretty 50 50 for the most part on mattes and shimmers and it just looks absolutely beautiful i remember i saw by brooke l she's on instagram and i saw her posting a look and i absolutely died i think my camera is moving i absolutely died it was so beautiful so stunning and i'm not gonna swatch anything for you guys i i'm gonna film a first impressions mini tutorial for you guys using that but i also like to take pictures of my products before i stick my fingers in them and the other two products that i got were two lip liners i went looking for a bunch of other lip liners and all the ones that i wanted were out of stock they've been out of stock for a really long time so i'm not really sure when that's gonna be available to me so the first one i got is actually just a backup of a lip liner that i have been using and the only reason i decided to pick it up because i still have a decent size left is because it was the last one available so my luck if i'm running low i'm gonna go and look for it and it's not gonna be available and it's gonna be a lip liner i want to use so that one is sugar pie and these lip liners the formula is really really good it's very creamy but it's not overly creamy where you don't have enough control you know when you have lip liners and it's a little too hard and a little too stiff where it's just scraping on your lips and it's just painful and then you have lip liners that's just overly soft and it just kind of mushes down on your lips and there's no precision whatsoever this is literally a in-between perfect formula and it's only four dollars it used to be three dollars for the lip liners and they bumped it up by a dollar which is annoying but it's still affordable so the other lip liner shade that i got was toasty and i I thought this was going to be a really nice brown. I wanted something more chocolate brown, but the one that I was looking at, they didn't have it in stock. So this is Sugar Pie and this is Toasty. I'm actually wearing Sugar Pie on my lips right now with Max Velvet Teddy and I forgot how much I really liked this lipstick. 
just, you know when you just have products and you just push it aside and just forget about it and you're constantly trying to try any new things it's kind of where that came in so yeah i didn't really want to film a separate haul i just only picked up a couple of things so i figured this would be a perfect time just to show you what i got but yeah i think that's pretty much it i'm gonna pretty much cut this video right here and end it and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video you know like i said if you have any questions comment below and please like comment share and subscribe and i will see you on monday have a safe and great weekend bye